A80. Uh, so this is Gadget 1.6. As you can see, uh, I have no death on, and that's the only thing on this uh, mode that you need to concern yourself with. You literally get slapped around with one HP forever. You just can't die. So that's cool. I think you can die to the death effect. So like if you're fighting, uh, or you're in the room with um, Seath, uh, you can still die. I'm not sure how that work. It probably is not a good idea to practice it in there because you're gonna die there anyway. Um, anyway, so 1.6, unzip. If the app doesn't show itself, you do shift right click, maximize, shift, shift right click, maximize, it'll do this. Cause for me, when I clicked on it, it was spawned or it, it turned on off screen and I couldn't get it to pull up. So you do shift, Right click on the icon, maximize, and then cascade window, and then it'll be in the shape that it was intended to be. So that's that. Uh, player, you can save and store your positions. So like, I'm gonna store my position there. I'm going to move around over here, and then I'm going to restore my position. That's really helpful if you're trying to do running segments. So you don't have to do um, quick saves or say, uh, save states. You just zip back. Uh, the only difference is if you load into a different zone, the other zone will be despawned. So when you uh, restore your location, uh, you'll just fall through the map uh, because it's despawned, deloaded. So there's that. You can uh, do a bunch of other things. You can spawn in all the items you want. Um, including souls, like literally any item in the game you can just spawn in, add any infusion, upgrade, and quantity. Obviously, if the weapon doesn't upgrade, you can upgrade it. Even if you have it 99, it's still going to say normal. Uh, you can't just exceed the normal bounds of the game. Uh, if you want to practice... I don't know, shooting something, turn on unlimited ammo. If you want to practice... Um, in, if you want to practice parrying, I recommend turning on no damage, no hit, and infinite poise. I guess it doesn't really matter if you're not getting hit, right? So d d no damage and no hit. So you just parry, parry, parry. If you miss, you miss, it doesn't parry. So you can just sit there practicing parries forever and ever and ever. No consequence. No death, no damage, no hit. Redundant, but it works. Um... You can also make it so that you're sitting there fighting the boss forever by saying no death, no hit, no damage uh, for the enemies. Uh, you can also turn off the AI, disable AI, no attacking. So they're just sitting there. They're there, but they're not like T-posing, whereas T-posing would be the disabled enemies, right? Or no movement. They're like trying to get to you, but they're just standing in place. I don't know why you'd want to turn that on Um for your intent to practice, I recommend turning on your deathless, no death, and their no damage uh, for the bosses. The reason why is if you want to just sit there and like learn what you can punish, what you can't punish, how many times you can punish, um, there's no consequence. You don't have to reset because you did too much damage to the boss. Like if you're parrying Gwyn, you parry him five times, it's over. You got to reset. But if you turn on no damage, you could just parry, repost, parry, repost, parry, repost, parry, repost. Find what works for you uh, without having to reset all the time, which is the whole point of this tool. It's a practice tool. That's what it do. Um, I recommend you don't do anything else. You could do uh, um, hockeys. So like restoring position might be really nice or toggling no death might be really nice um uh, but you don't really need to do that unless unless now hear me out 
you want to do quit to menu. Quit to menu is really, really nice because you're running, you're running, you're running, you're practicing, you're doing great. You turned off the no death, you turned off the no hit, you're running, you're running, you're falling off the ledge and you don't have a saved uh, store location. You're falling off the ledge, hit that hot key to just zip out, you're done, you're back in the main menu, GG, and now you're not falling anymore. You're not taking that fall damage. I'm gonna say that this is the uh, pause. So now I go back into the game and I hit pause. Boom, back to the main menu, I'm outside of the boss fight. That's how you do it.